Does anyone have a question that we want to ask? Uh, could you talk about stillness? Can I talk about stillness? Yes. Yeah. Something we shouldn't talk about. We can just do. <laughs> Look, uh, you know, the, you know, Uh, we, you know, we all very much know about tension, chaos, the internal earthquake and tornado that goes on inside most people. Their heads don't shut up, their emotions, their sexual energy, their... and there's no stillness. There's no stillness in the world unless, you know, you happen to walk down the street at four o'clock in the morning. and Maybe there might be some stillness or nature. I, yeah, it was very funny. When I moved to Woodstock, I'll never forget that. The first night sleeping there, it was so still. It was so quiet. I never experienced anything like it in my life. And I told my ex-wife, Laura, I'm going to hire an ambulance to come drive around the house and slowly lower its siren so I can get used to this depth of stillness, this incredible stillness that was in nature. That kind of stillness should be inside each and every one of us. You know, the whole purpose of the meditation is the transformation of the chaos, the unhappiness the, into stillness, into quiet, into peace, inner peace, peace of mind. You know, and this is essential because without that, we are always prey to our own craziness. We're always prey to our own abnormalities, the chaos inside us. And it determines how we live. It creates all the wars in the world. It creates all the crazy tensions that go on in the world. It creates all the enmities, the revenge, the things people do that perpetuate the drama, the kind of soap opera of life. We need stillness, but we're not going to get stillness until we learn how to build a system inside that's capable of transforming all of that chaos into stillness. We need to develop a chakra system. That is what the craft of meditation is all about, to build that kind of inner strength that can transform, you know, the mind, the emotions, et cetera, et cetera, into a state of stillness, building the foundation, opening the heart, quieting the mind, being able to use sexual energy to activate kundalini, all of this requires, you know, uh, all of this is about the development of internal stillness and allowing ourselves to be guided by spirit instead of being guided by ego and what we think is right or wrong and tension. Tension is a motivating factor in the lives of probably 99% of the people that live in this world. Most of everything that's built in life is built because of human tension. People have to do something with it. So they build businesses, relationships, families, this, that. And most of it is a product of tension. That's why so little of it truly nurtures people. So our job really is to use the craft of meditation to build an inner life that is capable of allowing us to be still, quiet. And in that stillness, we receive spirit and that spirit guides our life. And in order to allow that spirit to guide our life, we literally have to let go of all the impediments.
And stillness isn't something that just happens because we get up in the morning. We need to create it in ourselves. We need to build a system that's capable of living that way. I come back to this over and over and over again because it is probably the prime solution to most of the problems that people have. Because we live in a world where everybody is blaming the external world. It's always somebody else's fault. Instead of saying, what can I do to change in myself? And whatever one can do to change within themselves, they will create a better world that we live in. But if people keep blaming each other and blaming everybody for the problem, you know, it's been going on for a billion years now and nothing has changed. Does anyone else have a question? And then we learn to give unconditionally. We learn to receive unconditionally. We learn to let life be. Instead of trying to rearrange God's furniture all the time. And most people spend their entire life trying to rearrange God's furniture. We're a bunch of tourists here, you know? We come here for 60 years, 70 years, you know, 10 years, five, and we make a mess. Instead of like, you know, born into nature and life and letting it be. And in order to let it be, we have to be still inside us. We have to have peace of mind. We have to have quiet inside ourselves. We have to have a self-worth and a dignity inside that's connected to spirit, not connected to the ego, but connected to spirit. Does anyone else have a question? Well, I always say it, but I think it's so once that stillness begins to come, whatever we experience in life, whomever we interact with, whatever it is, it really becomes our teacher. It's a reflection. The way we experience life is exactly a reflection of how we are inside ourselves. If we're bitching and complaining and God oh, oh, and everything is it's because there's a deep unhappiness inside. We haven't received, we haven't gained any balance, any quiet, any stillness. The heart really isn't open. So we quench, <laughs> we complain you know, about life. And really what we're complaining about is ourselves. 
instead of saying, okay, how do I change? How do I open and allow this miracle thing called life to truly become my teacher? to truly show me what is sacred in the world. Now, this is impossible unless people really develop a system in themselves that allows them to do this. Otherwise, it's all just chit chat and talk and having read a few books and knowing about chakras and knowing about Kundalini and all this is boring, you know? I mean, all of these things have to be a living force, a living, breathing energy that emanates from us, each and every one of us. And the wonderful thing to finish this all up is we have all the tools to do this. Now we have to invest the time and the energy to make it possible. Every human being has chakras, they have breath, they have mind, they have will, they have, you know, needs. And instead of projecting all these things to the external world, Take them deep inside and fix all of the chaos inside. Then the external world is going to change. The world we see is going to be different. Does anyone else have a question? Okay. God bless you all. Thank you. And there'll be a class on Wednesday. I'm looking forward to seeing you all. And as I tell you after every class, you all are my teacher. And I have nothing but gratitude for the presence of each and every person that attends these classes. Of course, every one of you is unique and different and forcing me to work in tremendous depth in myself to find places I never dreamed I could ever find. So God bless you all. Thank you for participating in this and for being part of this. And I'm hoping to see everybody on Wednesday. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Stuart. Thank you, Stuart. Good night.